they do know that a lot of In this video, teams of student investigators from around the country were assigned to find out what impact pesticides have on our health and the environment. Just the rain, yeah, it's just the rainfall stuff. They followed the pesticide trail. It was news to us that tons of chemical pesticides are routinely used to produce the food we eat. Our assignment was to talk to some of the major players on the pesticide trail and find out how safe is our food. First stop, the offices of Friends of the Earth. How many pesticides do you think would be on an average conventionally farmed apple like this one? Um, it does vary and, and we should remember that some apples won't have any pesticides on so I think the last time they were tested about a third of apples contained um, pesticides. Now some of those will have more than one pesticide um, and you can get two or three pesticides on one piece of, of fruit. Um, we found in, um, I think in lettuces in fact, there's been up to six pesticides. Um, so it does vary. but. Um, so it's kind of a bit of a, a toxic lottery, really, as to whether you get the <laughs> pesticide-free apple or the apple with, with three residues on. We took the evidence to the Crop Protection Association, the organisation that speaks for the makers of pesticides. There's all these residues on our food. Isn't it poison, poisoning us? Let me just first say, no, we're not poisoning it. Um, let me secondly say that the farmer is using it for a very good reason. Um, he's trying to save his crop. His crop is under threat from a pest or disease or a weed. But when your back is to the wall, uh, you will be using a pesticide in exactly the same way. Is when you're ill and you're very ill, then you will go to a doctor and say, please help me doctor, and the doctor will say, okay, here's a medicine. It's exactly the same. So, from the industry's point of view, pesticides are not only essential, they are safe. But they can't just sell their pesticides to farmers. The risks of using them has to be calculated. This is the job of the government's advisory committee on pesticides. We went to see them. Professor David Coggan heads the committee. The responsibility for advising government on whether a pesticide should be used in this country comes down to our committee. So, um, could I welcome everybody to the 299th meeting of the Advisory Committee on Pesticides. Perhaps we should make clear at the outset that you can never say that anything in life is completely safe. I don't know if you've discussed that with other people before. Nothing in life can we guarantee is absolutely safe. So it's about whether things are acceptably safe, whether we're sufficiently confident that they will be uh, so well, we actually don't have any control over pesticide use, so isn't that why there's so much suspicion about it? And that's why it's important that ultimately the decisions that are made about pesticide regulation are made by ministers who are elected by the people. It is not the Advisory Committee on Pesticides ultimately that decides what is an acceptable risk for people to be exposed to. Lord Whitty is the government minister.